Good afternoon, class. My name is Paul Thorne. I'm going to be your professor today. And today we're going to talk about something that's really popular right now in the United States. It's a really hot topic, and it's getting discussed a lot. And that's college debt. Going to college is really expensive. And a lot of people right now in the United States are wondering, is it worth it? Should I go to college? It costs so much money. So some economists here in the United States have developed a model called the human capital model really important model to kind of express, is college worth it? Let's figure out today in class if it's worth it. So when you think about college, what are some of the things that we think about right away? Expense. College is expensive, but how expensive is college? Well, if you took all of the students in the United States and took all of the money that they either owe or paid towards going to college, how much do you think it would be? Let's take a look. So let's start with $1,000. Would it cost $1,000 to go to college? Probably a little bit more if we're counting everybody. How about $1 million? Have all the students in the United States paid or owe $1 million to go to college? Unfortunately, it's a lot more than a million dollars. Here's $1 billion. $1 billion, according to CNN, we owe more than a billion dollars. In the United States alone, the education of all the students cost and all the debt that they have is one trillion dollars. One trillion dollars, that's a lot of money. So if we put that in the yuan, let's just take a look and see how much that would be. When looking at these large numbers, we obviously have to question, is college really worth it? It sure looks expensive. That is the amount of money, if converted into yuans, would be that was spent on going to college for students. That's a ton of money. So now students more than ever face the idea, should I go to college or should I just work after I'm done with high school? Well, the human capital model that we're going to learn today teaches us the perfect answer to that question. But before we jump into that model, Let's just think about a couple things that are expensive when going to college. Alrighty, let's ask the class for a couple ideas. I, hear, I heard one, tuition. That's a big one. Pretty expensive. Here in the United States, tuition can run anywhere from $5,000 to $50,000, depending on, depending on what kind of university that you attend, public or private. Public universities are normally um, receive money from the government to help afford some of the costs private universities don't receive that money, so the tuition is generally a lot higher. On top of tuition, what are some other costs? Let's ask the class. Oh, I heard housing. Housing is pretty expensive. Here in the United States alone, most students that attend universities stay on dormitories or dorms. They're right on campus or right off campus, so it's really close to campus, but it is pretty expensive. Another growing expense here in America are college textbooks. Even though currently in the United States we're trying to switch our textbooks to ebooks or online books, they still are pretty expensive. And another one that's commonly forgotten but must need to be accounted for is the fees for going to college. College has a lot of extra fees, especially if you go to a private university versus a public university. And a really big one, your time. If you choose to get a bachelor's degree here in the United States, it takes roughly four years of your life to get that degree. So again, we ask the question, with a trillion dollars and all these costs, is it really worth it? Let's take a look at what the human capital model says. But before we begin, what does human capital mean? Well, human capital means is what you add to your economy. So if you speak two languages, or if you add value to a corporation, or you're able to help people, that's all adding value. Adding value means you help the economy grow, maybe perhaps with more jobs or more GDP, which is a gross domestic product, so the goods and services that you exchange. So back to that human capital model, let's take a look and see um, how it works. We're going to use this with a graph. So this is called the y-axis. And we're also going to put in our x-axis. It's really similar to the math classes that you've probably taken. On our y-axis, we're going to put our income, or dollars, or won. The amount of money goes on the y-axis. 
And on the x-axis, let's put our time. This time is in our years, our years of our life, our years until we get older. Here we have the amount of money that we'll make and the amount of time it's going to take to get that money. So if you decide not to go to college and just go to high school and after high school get a job out of high school, on average, this will be the amount of money that you'll make over time. Here indicated with the red line. Not bad, but not great. Roughly, this is the amount of money that you'll have for the rest of your life when we look at time and money. So if we go to college, where do we end up? Obviously, there were all those costs that we had before. Here's time and dollar time. This would be where they are at zero. But going to college, we actually don't make zero dollars. We make negative amount of money because we give up money. We pay tuition, books, housing, fees to go to college. So instead of making money, we actually are below. We're negative. So let's go right down here, negative, on our graph, and let's call this negative $20,000. That's the amount of money that we're spending. So unfortunately, they're out here making money, and because we're going to college, we're actually giving away money. But let's take a look how this plays out in the long term. So here in the United States, again, a bachelor's degree takes roughly four years to complete. Here we go on our timeline. We indicated four years. Of going to college. As you can see, we're negative. Four years, they're making money. We currently are negative money. But after that four years of going to college, you get something called your bachelor's degree. And that says to employees that you're smart. It says that you went to college and you learned something more than what this person learned. So after that four years, let's put a four right there just so we don't forget, we actually jump up with our income because here we're making no money but we have that college degree and we got our first job, so we actually have to keep going higher. Alrighty, here's our friend that decided not to go to college and he decided to work and we decided to continue our education. But because we got that bachelor's degree that says I'm smart, that I've, I've learned extra skills, I went to college, we actually pass him and go much above him. Here is what the rest of our life will look like when we're spending. So, looking at the graph, I know it can get a little bit confusing, but let's compare a couple of these boxes and see what's really going on. This box right here is all the money that we spent going to college. A pretty good amount. We estimated, again, 20000 U.S. dollars. But here, because we went to college, we ended up making more money than our friend who decided not to go to college. So, because we went to college, and got an education, we are now in this box area. This is our earnings. So when looking at the human capital model, we look at the fact that we gave up this amount of money, but now we're making this amount of money. So what it's showing here is that over time, even though you give away money in the beginning or you spend money to go to college, in the long run, you make more money than someone who didn't go to college. So the human capital model suggests, even though that there's tons of college debt out there and people are confused if it's really worth the investment, the human capital model shows us that it is. It's definitely worth the investment. So just to make sure that you have all the points that I've addressed, let's go over a couple things and a couple different ways to learn how to look at things. So if we look at the short term of going to college, ST stands for short term. It's expensive. Let's put a couple dollar signs there. It's very expensive and it costs a lot of our time. But if we look at the long term, we're going to use the, the red and LT standing for long term, we make a lot more money in the long term. And because we have that bachelor's degree, it's a signal. It's letting employers know that we know something that somebody who didn't go to college doesn't know. So we also become a little bit smarter. So when deciding if you want to go to college or not, make sure not just to look at the numbers, but make sure to look at the fact of weighing your short-term and your long-term costs. 
In the short term, or in the immediate future, it sure does seem expensive. But just remember, if you look at the long-term amount of going to college, you'll be better off in the future. That's all for now, class. I look forward to teaching you again.